if he can cut this knee through and smash my two knees so that they're facing the same direction, this is gonna eradicate the sumigeshi. Whatever this hand was doing before, it's gonna come through and it's gonna create a frame like this. It's actually a really great entry into a submission directly off of your effort for the sweep. Sumigeshi is one of the most effective sweeps that you can use down on the ground. It's a great standing technique. It's great gi and no gi. One good counter that your partner can use when you go to elevate them is to bring their knees together and smash your sumigeshi, your butterfly hook, okay? So what does that look like? It looks something like this. So what we really wanna do when we do a sumi is we wanna keep this foot connected to our partner's leg so that we have good purchase to lift, all right? So out of any situation where I go to start to lift him up to sweep him, if he can cut this knee through and, and smash my two knees so that they're facing the same direction, this is gonna eradicate the sumigeshi. Now there's no more elevation. I have a hook on this leg, but that's not the leg that we wanted. We wanted this leg here. And when your partner starts to do this, now you can often find that your knees are smashed together, especially if your arm is around your partner's back. Now it's just a matter of time before you get your guard passed. So what do we do when this happens? Well, first thing is we always want to try to prevent our partner's knees from coming together. Uh, sorry, from our partner bringing our two knees together if that's possible. Sometimes it's not possible. And so if in order, first of all, in order to keep your knees uh, uh, separate, right, not smashed together, this knee has to be turned up. So when even when we start our sumigeshi, we don't want to allow this knee to tilt down like this, okay? Because now we lose the lifting power, our two knees are parallel to the floor, and then any pressure downward from him is going to smash this hook, and now from here we're in huge trouble. So. We always want to keep that knee high. Often what will happen with experienced people is they will let you elevate them or you'll be able to elevate them. And then what they'll do is they'll switch their hips and they'll try to smash this hook kind of in midair. So we'll do it in slow motion here, but we're going to start with grips here, any kind of standard sumigeshi grips. I'm going to tilt and I actually start, I'm able to kind of get him up here. Okay. And now is when this knee starts to cut. So when we feel like we're losing the sumi, we're gonna replace whatever this hand was doing before, it's gonna come through and it's gonna create a frame like this, okay? Right now, my hips are on the mat, okay? This is what, the proper position for the sumi, but once this knee starts to move through here, we can't keep our hips down on the floor. We're gonna plant this bottom leg and we're gonna push so that our hips come up off of the mat. Now, we can take this hand and gather up our partner's leg. You can draw your partner through and now from here, you're in a nice setup for a cross ashi. You have good control of your partner's knee. You can cover your partner's knee here, come back, go elbow over, and now we're in a position here where we can start to look to, uh, to finish our partner. All right, so the idea is that in an uh, ideal, uh, here, but like in an ideal situation, this knee is never tilted down, okay? It's never collapsed, but you know, ideal is one thing and then your ability to, to actually execute is another. So we start to lift and we feel like this knee is cutting through, I'm losing it. We're gonna go cross frame, hips turn through, and that allows us to get the angle and bring our hips through underneath our partner. And now you're off to the races. Whatever sorts of attacks you like to do, you can come through and start to look to chase your partner's heel. Okay, you can adjust your body here. We have knee bar options. We have different configurations with our legs. We can come up to the top position, but you've got a very nice way. It's not just a bailout in the sense of you're settling for something. It's actually a really great entry into a submission directly off of your effort for the sweep. So be looking for opportunities when your partner goes to smash that knee down, you're doing sumigeshi, to invert your body, you need the cross frame to do that, coming up onto your shoulders, getting your hips connected to your partner's hips, and then there'll be some good leg lock opportunities from there. Thanks so much for watching. Please, if you have comments or questions, post them down below. We've got some links down there to some things that we've been up to, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much.